We're looking live over Boston right now. It's never too early to talk about the weekend. So you want to talk about the weekend or you want to talk about Harvey? I want to talk about Harvey. Okay, we want to talk about Harvey. <laughs> he knows. We love you, Harvey. <laughs> oh, we love you guys too. Uh, but we do have to talk about the weekend because right. it's a big one. It we'll is. get to the other stuff in a little while, okay? Okay, okay fine. Promise? Right now, let's Good. talk about tonight. It's pretty nice out there. Temperatures are in the 50s, but look how cool it is on the Cape. The vineyard is 44, yet Jaffrey, New Hampshire is 60, but most areas are in the 50s. Now, for tomorrow, there'll be a little patchwork sky. Some clouds will mix with the sun at times, but I think overall it's going to be very similar to what we had today. One little difference? Today, wind is coming off from the east, and that made it cool in Boston, North Shore, South Shore. Tomorrow, the wind will be a little more from the south, and that means the Cape will be the coolest tomorrow. So as far as temperatures are concerned, Boston should approach or touch 70, a little above 70 to the north and west, and more like 60 to 65 on the Cape. Now, there's muggy air on the way. It's comfortable now, the dew points, but they get high, very high humidity here. And with that, we have some showers and storms that does figure into at least a little portion of the holiday weekend. I'll try to time it all out for you coming up in a few minutes. See you then. Ed and of course on Harvey's last night for a regular forecast, the Celtics gave him a gift. This is breaking tonight. It just ended. Celtics in their black. That's Jalen Brown with a monstrous dunk. Terrific second half for the Celtics. They won. They're now one win away from the NBA Finals. All right, Bob Halloran, take it away. To a legend, we continue to honor our Harvey Leonard, the well wishes, the celebrations, the special moments leading up to that final forecast and a special surprise for Harvey. Uh oh, I wonder what that is. <laughs> well, I don't want you to be surprised about the weekend weather, so I'll just tell you the early part of the weekend is a little bit in question, but I'll take you through the entire holiday weekend in a little bit. Your WCVB New Center 5 at 11. A sea of flags all set up on the common. The Memorial Day tradition honors Massachusetts lives lost in war. There are more than 37,000 small American flags. And oh, right. Right. Powerful showing. Right. Okay. I don't even think we should say anything. What do you think? Okay. Uh, we, we're not saying anything right now, but there's a gentleman on the screen right now that's going to present weather to you at this moment. Thank you. That's nice and simple. I, I like keeping it no, simple. No, are you kidding me? We have so much to say. <laughs> we need you to know, Harvey. Right. We should be recording this. Yeah, this can is we record his, this? This is his last weather cast. We should be doing this. Go ahead, Harvey. You go ahead and start. We're going to record it. Oh, my gosh. They're yeah, the pressure's wizards. on now. I work with technical whizzes on the end. I know, right? Boom. There we go. All right. Listen, I do... This is my last full weather cast, it's true, but it's an important one because Memorial Day weekend, of course, is involved, and they're all important. So just a little capsule look at the weekend. I think Saturday is the most likely day to feature a few showers and thunderstorms and high humidity. Looks like humidity will be lower, and Sunday will be a nice day, and I think at least a mix of sun and clouds on Monday. So right now, if it works out the way I'm thinking, two out of three, not too bad. 56 right now in Boston. A wind from the south-southwest, that kind of indicates tomorrow will be just a little bit warmer, a little bit. It's in the 50s in the greater Boston metropolitan area, some 40s down from New Bedford to the Vineyard. That's all because of the cool southerly wind off the water, and it's mildest up in southern New Hampshire, Manchester, 63. So overnight, partly cloudy, comfortable. You wake up if you're an early riser tomorrow, about 44 to 51 degrees. Tomorrow, overall, a mixture of sun and clouds. Nice day, comfortable. Coolest on the Cape. That's where I expect the low 60s, but much of the region could average in the low 70s, right around 70 in Boston. You see a wide area north and west, 70 to 75, a little bit cooler, southeastern Mass and the Cape. All right, so dew points. When they're under 60, we're pretty comfortable as we get to this time of the year, so we're okay for a while. But boy, is there muggy air here, but it's not just muggy. Uh, it's going to turn muggy Friday and last into Saturday. And as we get into that time period, some of this moisture will begin to move in. So here's the way I think it's going to play out. I think we're okay tomorrow. Pretty decent day. Now we get to overnight tomorrow night and Friday. Uh, that southerly wind will start to pick up low-level moisture, maybe a little spritz or so near the south coast or the Cape. Heavier downpours, if they occur, I think that would be later Friday night and a few times on Saturday until this front crosses the region. But once it does, we should clear out nicely for Saturday night and have a nice Sunday. Maybe some patchy clouds Monday. And then it's going to get very interesting around Tuesday and Wednesday here of next week because very warm air is going to want to move in along the coast. 
I'm not certain it will happen. Inland areas, I think there's a good chance of hitting 90 one or two of those days, Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, so let's summarize the seven-day forecast for you. Here's the way it goes. Uh, tomorrow, decent day, averaging in the low 70s. A little warmer, a little more humid on Friday. Uh, not quite as nice a day. And again, if we do get the downpours, likely to be either late Friday night or Saturday. And then Sunday, we clear out. We should be okay. And it could get toasty, especially away from the coast uh, after Memorial Day weekend. All right, everybody here in the studio, let's give Harvey a round of applause. Because, ladies and gentlemen, that was the legendary Harvey Leonard's final formal newscast, sports weathercast here. Well, I'm going to bring in the sportscast, too. We'll talk about the Celtics <laughs> later. But here at Channel 5. And it is no secret that we all consider Harvey a dear family. But on this very special day, it's time to do a handoff. Harvey? Cindy Fitzgibbon has a surprise for you. Uh-oh. I'm Lorraine. Been married to my dear Harvey for going on 48 years. This is my daughter, Sherry. Hi, everybody. And my younger daughter, Tracy, via Zoom from Manhattan. Harvey is a great dad, great husband. He's just a good person. He gives his all. It's he really does there. for From weather as well as for his family. My dad was not the type that really carried that sort of TV persona at home right. um, with his friends, with his family. Yeah, Harvey is what you see is what you get. One of my earliest memories, maybe I was six, was going towards a tornado yeah. in the car yeah. with my oh. sister because my dad was tracking one down that maybe it had gone down in Ashland and we were just on the move trying to find the tornado. I'm glad I wasn't there <laughs> for that one. <laughs> Knowing Harvey, he knew exactly where it was, which direction it was moving, and everybody was safe. He'd be up all hours of the night. If there was a, a little bit of flake of snow would come, he would be watching that flake come down. He had a skylight put in to watch the snow. That's fall. right. <laughs> right. Or if, or if it was snowing 20 miles from here, we'd have to go there to p see the snow. We couldn't stay where we were. We had to go to it. He has brought that passion for his career career for 50 years. We have an intense coastal storm now about 200 miles off the Maryland coast. The, one of the other things that Harvey is really well known for, of course, is the, his forecast, which was accurate for the blizzard of 78. Yes. Which he left, Lorraine. Oh, I was only seven months pregnant, I guess, at the time. With and Sherry. With my, my, yes. my daughter, Sherry. Well, he knew that morning. He said to me, he said, the cars on 128 are going to get trapped. He he just knew it and he said you know I don't know what to do how loud can I make the alarm he's brand new to this but he went in and didn't see him for not a week and a half maybe <laughs> completely hard-working kind very fun he was a wonderfully fun and active father we spent 48 hours on the weekends full stop playing games having fun I'd say attentive um, perceptive to such a great communicator, always provided a lot of context so we would understand things. He's very, very involved dad, a very loving man, kind man, generous. Mm -hmm. I couldn't be any luckier and uh, we love him we do. very much. Mm -hmm. So who, who do we have here? I'm Joshua. Mm -hmm. I'm Lily. You guys are two of how many grandchildren? Five. Five. Five grandchildren, wow. So are you excited about being able to spend more time with your grampy? I'm just so excited to get to spend more time with you. And I've looked up to you my whole life and it's just been such a nice pl pleasure to be your granddaughter. <laughs> Me too, I'm gonna be really happy to spend a lot more time with him. Um, and we can play a lot more games. Yeah. Okay. Love you, love you, honey. Congratulations. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh my gosh, beautiful, that is the greatest beautiful. thing I've ever seen right? in my life. Right? My family. Right? Like, I'm he retiring. Had no idea. Right? They can all take over with Cindy. Are you kidding? They'll be They're here awesome. tomorrow. They'll be doing the news tomorrow. Oh, thank Didn't you, you so love much. That? Oh my God, I'll never forget that. Thank you, buddy. That is unbelievable. Thank, Thank you, buddy. so much. By the way, don't go away because you're going to meet the lovely Lorraine and family in just a minute, so don't go away. Aw. Now through Saturday, Norfolk Kitchen and Bath is offering incredible savings on our designer kitchens. We're celebrating three other co-workers, three other brilliant people who are retiring from CBB. Kim Duvall.
You saw them all lined up. Kim Duvall, who right now is operating the cameras that you're looking at right now. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. making us look amazing every day. Kevin Yar, who, who edited many of the stories. Kevin and I edited many stories together. He's a brilliant editor. Yes. And Sue Warren. And a kind man. And yes. a kind man. And Sue Warren, who, who the ran the newsroom. She was the newsroom she administrator. Did. She you're did a wonderful job. Sue. We held a little party outside today. Har you know, when there's a party and a microphone, Harvey's going to do both. So Harvey jumped in. But congrats to Kim, John, Kevin, Sue. Harvey, everybody. It's just, it's, it's an honor to be here with such brilliant people. And it's just, it was really nice. Really, really nice. And you're right. They are all wonderful people. Yeah. Absolutely. Tremendous people that we all work Do you have yeah. more, more inside of you? Do you have a little message that you want to say in a little bit? Yeah, just give me a little chance to... Uh, Get the courage. Uh, Are you verklempt or what? <laughs> uh, I'll probably be very verklempt very soon. We'll be right back with Harvey's final message. Where to begin? I have been so blessed to have a true passion, meteorology, and to be given a chance to express that passion for so long in a place I love to work and live. It has been a true privilege. And over that time, so much has happened in your life and in mine. When I started my career, I was single. And as I finish, almost finished, I'm blessed to have a wonderful wife who you've now met, two fabulous daughters that you've now met, two terrific sons-in-law, you'll meet one, and five incredible grandkids, each one a true blessing. I love all of them very much, and I thank them for all of their love and support. But I also have a remarkable professional family here at WCVB. This has always been and still is a very special station. From our weather team to our news team to everyone who works behind the scenes, all of my coworkers make it as professional and warm a setting as there could ever be in this industry. Finally, to you, the viewers. The outpouring I've been receiving from so many of you has really been overwhelming. It's not just how many of you have taken the time to write, it's what you're saying. It's clear it's coming from your heart and it has deeply touched mine. It may take me a while, but my intention is to get back to each and every one of you. Thank you for watching all these years. Be well, I wish all of you all the very best. Thank you so much. And I think some of my family is going to come. Yay, Harvey! Tell, tell, there they are. Tell, tell everybody who's Tell here. everybody. Uh, okay, so there is my son-in-law, Brian. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Unbelievable guy. Yep. There is my daughter, Sherry. Hola, Sherry. <laughs> Hi, uh, Sherry. And, of course, her sister, Tracy, was on the <laughs> 6 o'clock yeah, news. Right. Oh, I thought you were calling Lorraine our That's what I thought he was doing. <laughs> Looks like it. That would be a good yeah. move. Lorraine, of course, okay. is my wife. We love you, Lorraine. Oh, how are you? Ed Harding is my son, just she kidding. Was, <laughs> um, Josh Thanks, is Dad. my grandson. <laughs> Lily is my granddaughter. And Maria is my coworker. And all of them are awesome in all of their ways. And I am so blessed to work with you guys and to have you guys as my family. We're so blessed. much love that you give me, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you. We we're, are blessed. we're the ones who are blessed, way. Harvey. It's so true. Thank you. You know, and, and, and Harvey said this in the newsroom, and this is the absolute truth. You, you, when you come to work, you don't feel like you're at work. Yeah. You, you begin a conversation, yeah. you, you leave your, your home family, right. and you come in here right. to your work family, right. and, and we you are go family. back to your home. And, that's, and that's a big part of why it's taken me so long <laughs> to get to this point. And it's still going to be very difficult uh, to leave my marvelous but coworkers you, and friends. This, but you have, have to, this great family. So. You have to share with everybody. What are you? Okay, now that you're retired, what is yeah. the first thing you're going to do when you get home tonight? Well, I know what Lorraine would like me to do, but I taped Rafa's match at the French. <laughs> tennis. It's always tennis, Harvey. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Everybody. We love you. Most watched, most honored, winner of four Edward R. Murrow Awards, including Best Newscast, WCVB News Center 5, Boston's News Leader. Thank you for helping children across Massachusetts. Your support for WCVB's 50 Years Fund has been overwhelming, and there's still time to help. To donate, go to wcvb.com slash 50 years fund.